Why do you think so many people cheat? Well, it's different. It's different for whether a man cheats or a woman cheats. So if a man cheats, I believe it's because he's giving into his carnal desires and because he's misguided, you know, I'll be very honest and frank. I, you know, that's something I've done in the past when I was younger. And that's because I guess I grew up in an environment where it's very clear love is not a thing. Love is not something that lasts. Love is also something to run away from. I think sometimes, I think definitely especially, you know, for me it was a way to run away from something that was so pure. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was younger, I must have been 18 or 19 at the time. You know, when I cheated, it was, I had such a good thing and I was so scared. <laughs> and that was my way of like self-sabotage. Mm. So I think as a man, it's either you can't control yourself and you're giving into your carnal desires or it's a form of self-sabotage. I think as a woman, and I know this, I, I genuinely know this is going to sound crazy to some people, or at least this was my experience. You can, as a man, you can cheat and never once think badly of your partner. You can cheat and never once, like, it never comes as crazy as it sounds from a disrespectful place. You just, as I said, maybe you're so scared or you're running away or you're trying to self-sabotage. Whereas I find that when a woman cheats, it's pretty much always from a disrespectful place. And it, I mean that in the sense of she doesn't respect her partner anymore. Mm. And I'm also a person who is under the impression that everything is a man's fault. You know, I know I have some very crazy opinions on things, but when I hear that you know, a woman has cheated on a man, I always blame the man. Maybe that's just my character. I always like to take responsibility for everything. And I think, you know, men should be responsible for everything and this and that. But I think I've never seen it where a woman truly, genuinely from the bottom of her heart respects her man and is in admiration of her man and cheats. But do you think, I want to use your, your point. Do you think a woman who has bad experience in love from previous, meets a really good guy, mm-hmm. actually falls in love, but love, but that's so too good to be true and she believes internally she doesn't deserve that love, God knows why, because mm-hmm. of her childhood or whatnot, and then she does the self-sabotage. Okay, so to give a little bit more nuance, what I always say is that 80% of the time, it's a woman stops respecting a man, or respecting a man, and 20% of the time, it's trauma, mm-hmm. and it's her character. And I still always blame men for that because I think as a man, you should be competent enough to see your partner and understand, see the chinks in the armor and understand that we all have a life story. As I said, I had the literal worst example of what love is and all I was taught from a young age is run away from love, run away from love, run away from love. And that is absolutely no excuse to ever cheat but it's, you know, it's part of your story and it's flaws that, you know, it takes time to work on and eventually you work through. So I do agree with that. I think that some women have experienced such horrendous things that no matter how good something is, they'll sabotage it. Mm. And I think a lot of times they are addicted to emotions. I think people are addicted to emotions. You do have to ask yourself when a woman has been with four abusive partners, how does that keep happening again and again? Because mm-hmm. of course there is abuse out there, but majority of men aren't like that. 
majority of men aren't physically abusive. So how after four partners do you keep finding the same thing again and again? It's because you're addicted to that emotion. So you're correct in saying that. But as I said, I always like to think that as a man, you should be able to see these signs. Are you putting too much load on us, guys? I don't know. 